and we're live. Hello, hello, YouTube. I am Goddess Just Be, and I help people on the wellness journey. And we're about to have a session what I like to call the inner being church because I talk about esoteric knowledge, all things within. But I'm going to mix the two today. I'm going to mix spirituality with the physical reality as we talk about our hormones in the physical. And I'm going to throw in some, some, some nuggets as pertaining to spirituality. But this here particular um, topic is going to be more in line with your state of mind as it pertains to your hormones. And so in the inner being church, before we get started, my mission here is to illuminate the inner depths of yourself and challenging your core beliefs. The ones that's probably not serving you in physical reality in any way and put you up to speed with who you really are. Hey, Tanja, thank you for being here. And, 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 and I say that because in the uh, sneaky network, you always work, lady. So I say that because we'll find in the physical reality a lot of times that our hormones are out of balance, out of whack. Hey, Big T, how you doing? Thank you for passing through. Thank you for liking the screen so other people could come in alive. I appreciate you. Hey, Gloria, thank you for being here. And so when we're talking about uh, hormones in our state of mind, I want to bring your attention to something as it pertains to work relationships. I want to bring it all together as it pertains to relationships. And you'll see like, you'll see like, there's a lady, there's a lady, for example, uh, Miss Shira Seven. She's such a beautiful lady that helps people. She, she says she's a financial advisor, helping people get the bag. Like, right. Anybody ever heard of her before? Anybody ever heard of um, <laughs> Shira Seven? Sprinkle, sprinkle, lady. Anybody ever heard of Lil Mama? The little mama, did you receive my email? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I looked at it before I came on. I didn't answer any emails yet, but I did see the emails. I, I check in after I'm done. So, the little sprinkle, sprinkle, lady. I'll give you this here, um, this here description. The sprinkle, sprinkle, lady. There's a whole bunch of women in physical reality that subscribe to her. She gives really good motherly advice, like right to be able to for the woman to sit in her essence and you know be taken care of and be provided for by a man. And at the same time, it allows her to open up her brain capacity and, and her gifts, like, right? And the, and the gifts really make room for the whole family as I see it, like, right? And, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Meanwhile, there lies, back to my subject on hormones, there lies a whole lot of women in, the, in, that, in that audience that ain't going to be able to comprehend because they are at different states of mind. Their hormones are at different levels. Their attention span, their, their nerves, their anxiety. Some of them have PTSD. Some of them can't, can't stop calling. Some of them be like, oh, pick me, pick me. She call it pick me. It's just kind of like, right? And so <laughs> the amount of people or women, should I say, in that arena that's going to obtain success as it pertains to this high value version, version of themselves. Hey, Royal. Hey, Johnny. Cosmic, the amount of people that's going to obtain success as it pertains to this so-called high value that the sprinkle, sprinkle lady, she, she or I seven is helping the women to get, it's going to be really, really narrow. It's going to be a little bitty small percentage of these people. Why is that? Why is it going to be a small percent? Because of the different states of mind. And I want to bring another thing to your um, attention. Remember this lady, she's a young, she was a younger lady. She'd probably be a little old, old woman now, old lady now. But remember back years, years ago, and this was back when I used to watch TV. So it was like 2008-ish, 2009-ish. They had a lady, they had a lady um, uh, called Lil Mama. Anybody ever heard of Lil Mama before? Lil Mama went on a stage one day at the, um, at the award show. Remember, she went on stage with, it was Alicia Keys and JC when they were singing uh, from a song from the Empire State of Mind. And Lil Mama was feeling it so much that she, Beyonce was kind of trying to tug her and tell her to stay in her seat. But no, Lil Mama hormones was too out of balance, right? Because Lil Mama was in a different state of mind, different state of being. She had to go on the stage, even though she wasn't part of the performance. She had to go on the stage and she had to bop her head. And she, I guess because she was from New York and maybe she was really, really feeling it. And she had to bop her head and she had to get intertwined, not in her mind, 
from the replay of her. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all. From the replay of her remembering what she did, figuring out what she did in hindsight, in her mind, she said, oh, I thought Jay was feeling it. I just got so caught up in the moment. So she was in her little own little simulated environment in her mind, in her head, that she felt so caught up into it that so she had to get on the stage and go support. Even though she never practiced, she never sung anything. She just <laughs> she just decided I'm gonna go on the stage and make this here performance a little bit better because of the way that I'm thinking, the way that I'm feeling. I'm gonna let my emotions rule me. Hey, mind your thoughts. Speaking of mind your thoughts, I'm gonna let my emotions rule me in this moment and I'm going to get on stage. This is what little mama said in 2009. This is probably why some of y'all don't know nothing about her. I'm going to let my emotions rule me and I'm going to get on this here stage up here. And in my mind, I think everything okay. She gets off the stage. Now hindsight 2020 after her emotions now it levelized, right? Her hormones are now levelized and she like, well, dang, I thought Jay was feeling me. But when I watched the replay, I saw that he tapped me on the leg almost like, girl, go ahead. I seen that he was mad. And so after that, after that performance, little mama had to go on all of these little talk shows and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I let my emotions, I let my hormones get out of whack. I let myself be ruled by the state of my mind at that time. <laughs> That's what I did. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, y'all know. A lot of y'all not commenting, but you're probably not commenting because you don't even know who Lil Mama is because her career got taken away from her after that. We heard crickets chirping after that from Lil Mama because the powers in that realm, you know, the Jay-Z's of the world made sure you done. How dare you get on my stage while I'm performing? Let your hormones rule you. <laughs> I don't care that you zapped out. I don't care that your hormones are out of balance. You're going to pay for that and you're going to pay for it. <laughs> with your career. You see what I'm saying here? And so sometimes in the physical reality, we, we paying for things just because our hormones are ruling us. And in this video, I want to share with you how you paying for it. And you might not even know you paying for it. Could you tap the screen over here? Is this screen locked over here? I don't see no lights. I see some people in the room. Could you tap the screen and let me know if it's on? If it's not on, I'll just turn it off. We'd like to get to a thousand likes over here. Could you um, give us some thumbs up over here on YouTube? Could you like the YouTube video as we indulge in how to help you with your hormones and how to pay attention to when yours are ruling you, the different states of mind that we in? Men are too emotional now, Angel says. Yeah, unfortunately, it takes years of conscious effort and maturity to kick in to balance our thoughts. Yeah, yes, it does. And it takes you being a conscious of yourself, first of all, because like hindsight was 2020 for, for little mama when she got off the stage, then she realized, oh, oh, and because cameras was on her, she didn't be able, it was able to see herself. Oh, oh, that wasn't a good thing. But in that moment, prior to, prior to her seeing herself, but what it was in that moment, she, she just thought, oh, I was feeling, I'm from New York. They, they busting. This, this is a good show right here, right? Yes, all too often our emotions rule, especially women wearing emotion, being emotional creatures. You said that right. Mind your thoughts. Mind your thoughts. So here's the thing. Now let's go. We talked about little mama and how she she's still suffering. But just think about all of the women in relationships. And somebody said it here too. Men, mind your thoughts. Said men too. Men too. Men too. Emotionally out of control. Women. I ain't saying one is greater than the other. Men just voice how much women are with because, you know, we we carry so many stages or expressions of emotions in comparison to to uh, men. And so men voice and, and say, you know, women tripping, women bees and women this and that and the third. But guess what? Everybody have cycles. Everybody have hormone hormonal fluctuations. <laughs> and so for them, people who follow like um, the C, uh, uh, Sierra. Not Sierra. She Ra Seven. That's how you say her name. She Ra Seven, or you might know her as a sprinkle, sprinkle lady. For the people that signs up to that and want to really become like a high value type asset woman, or or be a, a stay at home mom, or level up, as they say it, like right. There are some women in the physical reality, and you probably know them. 
a lot of men know them too. A lot of men know them. They'll be so beautiful on the outside. They can level up to the highest level of capacity. But their state of mind, though, because of their hormones, their state of mind, they be so beautiful, so beautiful. They can do the face, they can do the eyebrows, but their state of mind is not going to allow them to be an asset because they rule by their emotions. And so I want to share with you sometimes when, when your emotions are out of whack, some things that you might be missing out on. Oh, oh it is moving over here. It is moving. Y'all just y'all just ain't tapping the screen. Could you tap the screen over there, Pete? Pete it. Con JR. Could you tap the screen so some more people could come up in the room? We got six likes over there. Thank you for the 2,000 likes over here. So here are some symptoms. All right, I'm going to end this live because I think it's, it's jams or something. I'm going to end this one. All right, because nobody ain't saying nothing over there. All right, something must be wrong with that one. I don't know. So here are some symptoms that you might be overlooking. Now I'm down to these two cameras here. When you're emotionally, overly rather emotional, like for the little mamas of the world, the little mamas of the world that get on stages during other people's performances, overly emotional. But here's the thing about being overly emotional. People in the physical reality say, oh, I like her because she real. You know, because real recognize real. So here you are. Here you are sharing shiny light on yourself. I want to show that. I want to show you yourself. Because for every so-called person that like another real person or real loud person, you're really liking that person. This is psychologist. This is human nature. I want to teach you something about yourself. We tend to like the people or gravitate toward the people that are in the likeness of us. I'm going to say it again energetically. We can, we tend to attract, attract that which we are, law of attraction. We tend <laughs> to want to surround ourselves for people that are so-called real, just like us. Because we're all energy and we're emitting, or should I say, radiating a certain signal. So when somebody, you, you meet somebody, oh, they on your signal, just in case you haven't figured out about the game of life. And so as it pertains to, <laughs> as it pertains to every emotional out of balance, girlfriend that you know, there lies a level of imbalance that draw, drew you close to that particular person, right? And this is why, this is why it, 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 you get so much attention when you're chaotic because all of the chaotic people come and they want to join in the forces that be. They want to join in. The likeness of the same go come. <laughs> Energy goes wherever your attention is, like, right? So you give more attention to it and you're feeding it. And then it becomes, it becomes, girl, girl, she real just like you. And let's party, let's this. And we just conjured up more energy to be out of control with our emotions, like, right? If you pay attention to the comments when somebody uh, posting something, I'm a, I don't know, something that's seemingly peaceful, Maybe like maybe a conscious uh, uh, video, like right. We'll go through the feed and we'll see conscious videos, and then then the, all of the conscious people. Like, do you remember that when they was doing the little um, viral video about the hugging of the trees? All the little tree huggers just came in the comment. Oh my gosh, I love trees, and let me do one. Remember, rem remember when we were? I forget how they how I forget how they pronounce it. Follicking or. Follow, you know, it was almost like we were skipping in the in um in the fields, and then everybody started skipping. Remember, remember when there was a video about you know touching the tree, the tree touching them, and then all the conscious people were outside. Everybody was in nature, like right. All of those liking to them same people came out. <laughs> but when emotions are chaotic, they got a gang of those type of said people too that's vibing on that frequency. And so there's two different people. There's a conscious person and the unconscious person in this realm. <laughs> there's a person that's conscious of their self and their emotions. And there's a person who is not conscious of their self and their emotions. This person who is not conscious of his hormones and his or her emotions is having a rough time as it pertains to relationships and the desires of their heart because they, they're chaotic. They're wobbling with their energy. 
So what are the signs of when you overly emotional in a relationship? What are the signs of when you overly emotional even without a relationship? Anybody? <laughs> Is it isn't it like behavior like little mama going on stage just like right? When you're emotionally out of control in a relationship, isn't it like remember Jasmine Sullivan? I bust your windows out your car. Why? Because I had a broken heart. Oh, Jasmine. Jasmine, you telling us that you was emotionally out of control in that moment. And it's not about, this not about being a punk under pressure now. <laughs> this not about, you know, letting people mess over you, but it's about figuring out how you feel before you see all of the red flags and going toward what feels good to you. So overly emotional is one way you can see where your state of mind has been altered because of your hormones. And so these same people that subscribe to, um, yes, because when we're emotionally, when we're emotional, I am balanced, I am balanced or action, behavior, and attitude becomes, oh, behavior, yeah, and it becomes irrational. I see what you're saying. They have some typos in there, but I see what you're saying. So here we go. Yes, that's how God wired us. We are, yeah, gave birth to the humanity. Yes, yes, we did. That's what God did is it pertains to the feminine energy. But source energy didn't create us to always wobble. Because if that was the case, we wouldn't have this thing called an inner being who stays and knows how to stay in alignment. So when we're wobbling, so to speak, or emotionally out of control, that means we're not in alignment with our 99.9% .9 of all that there is in our spiritual essence. That's why we are wobbling. That's why we get an emotion as an indicator that we're out of balance with ourselves. But these same said women, going back to what I was just discussing. Yes, I remember the tree people, Crystal said, hey, Crystal, Crystal. Hey, Bakiba. Come here from your new light video. Oh, thank you for passing through from soul come spirituality. And so here's what I want to share with you when your hormones are out of balance, as it pertains to relationships, as it pertains to the Sira 7, the sprinkle, sprinkle lady. When your hormones are out of balance, ain't you no high value, man, really gonna put up with your state of mind is what I'm getting to. Cause you you're not gonna be able to one that's gonna be able to let him lead. Because your chaotic thought gonna be like, oh my God, he ain't called. He got money. I gotta get him. I gotta get this bag. Let me call him and see. He said he was in a board meeting. He probably lying. Let me call. Well, the board meeting couldn't be lasting 30 minutes, huh? What kind, what, how long board meetings? Let me call again. Let me send a text. Let me send a sexy picture. Let me lead with my emotions. Like, right? This is a state of mind. When you're overly emotional, <laughs> you rule by your emotion. When you're overly emotional, we call it, as it pertains to health, we call it eating our comfort food. We call it snacks. We call it treats. But I want to forewarn you when your hormones are out of balance. I, I, I sell a wow, yeah, I'm butter, and this is where I'm going with this here. When your hormones are out of balance because you are emotionally out of control, you eat, you gain weight. When your emotions are out of control, you have to balance them things off because you are being ruled and governed by them. This is why you can't eat one Oreo. Not to mention the ingredients are altering your state of mind, but you were already emotionally, hormonally out of control because your hormones or your estrogen was ruling you. This is why you couldn't stop calling that man because the emotions were out of control. This is why you can't let that man lead. This is why they have women in a physical reality that be like, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to bring out my, my, my feminine side, but it's just so hard because I'm so used to doing. No, what you're saying is your testosterone is leading you. <laughs> hey, calm choice. I love me some of you. I love you back, babe. Hey, goddess. Hey, Miss B. Thank you for being here. Hey, sculpture. This is really what you're saying. This is really what you're saying. You're saying my emotions are so out of control that I can't let that man leave because in my mind, I don't have to stay the mind to be still what I'm going to do. It's, it's going to take a lot. How I'm going to say it. Oh, child, it's hard. And at the same time, women who are emotional, out of, emotionally out of control and they're more resting in their masculine, 
They look upon women like a Shira, Shira Seven or Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, as you might know her. They look upon her and they do, try to dog her in the comments. Oh, you just lazy. <laughs> oh, you, I, I can't sit on my butt like that. I can't do that. James ought to leave you. <laughs> All because they're in the comments emotionally out of control and, and they, they don't know how to get balanced. They don't know how to say it. They don't know how to just do. Now, I'm not saying anything wrong. If you want to explore your life and your masculine energy and that feels good to you, do that. Do what feels good to you. But if you and your masculine energy and secretly hating on women who are in their feminine energy, all because you don't know how to get over there because you can't put down the hammer in, 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 in the alternator and wash your hands for a moment, and balance your emotions to get there and learn how to communicate effectively to get there to bring you to peace. Because oftentimes the women in the physical who are in their masculine, oftentimes they be dog tired. And you don't have to be looking masculine to be sitting in your masculine. You could be working in corporate America with your masculine, walking around with high heels on and a purse, but be a whole man. Am I lying? Anybody ever worked in corporate America before and seen, seen males with the purses and the skirts and they'd be the directors, they'd be the managers because of their masculine energy. They exude in so much masculine energy. They give off an energy of a man. Anybody? Y'all never saw her before? <laughs> yeah, she's in her feminine energy. Yes, she really is. And a lot of people can't stay in that. Because their hormones are so out of balance that they couldn't fathom the fact that, wait a minute, you're getting stuff done? And you're sitting down and you're just being? You mean to tell me I just build the fence? No, it can't be. How do you do that? And so they are some of her supporters that really support her, but it's not going to click because it's a mind thing. It's a hormonal thing, a hormonal shift, like, right? A hormonal shift that they, they can't comprehend in this right now moment. And so this is why, this is why things like this wild yam butter is really, really falling off the shelf. <laughs> because it's calming women down and it's allowing cognitive thinking and, and reasoning to come to the forefront. It's, it's allowing you to reason and really think now and focus now and get you some sleep now and pay more attention and, and go within now. It's producing the, it finally that DHEA for, for brain development, calmness, peaceful sleep, getting rid of PTSD, like, right? Detoxifying the body, putting the fire out, no more am, inflammation in the body, no more being antsy, no more anxiety. Like, like, right? And so when those people, feminine, those those women, rather, who are resting in a masculine, put something as simple as this on there, and they, oh, 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 this feels good. Not realizing for all of them years, it was in fight or flight mode. Not realizing for all them years, their hormones was just out of balance and they didn't have to do, do, do. All they had to do was beep, beep, beep. Not realizing that they was on fire. Not realizing that they had maybe elevated testosterone in there that needed to be balanced. Not realizing that maybe the estrogen was out of balance and had them with so much inflammation. Like, right? both regardless of the it being the estrogen dominance or the testosterone dominance they needed that buffer that comes in the form of the progesterone to balance everything out as it pertains to their hormones so they can get to the empire state of mind see the true empire state of mind is your ability to just be be still and know that i'm god <laughs> The true empire state of mind is being able, if you're in your physical, to rest in your feminine. Whether or not you put the makeup on or not, you know how to receive in your feminine, right? The true empire state of mind, if you're a man, is to rest in your masculine. 
and provide. First, I ain't talking about to the woman in particular first. No, no, no. I'm talking about providing for yourself. Everything that, that society says as a man that you're supposed to be given to a woman, first man, you must give that thing to yourself. Provide for yourself. Do you have a roof over your head, man? Mm -hmm. Protect yourself. And that don't necessarily mean in the physical with fighting or going at war and having to back up in, in the glove compartment. That don't mean necessarily that. It means protecting yourself, like looking out for your best interest. Are you around the people that's, that's in your circle that mean you good and that ain't out to get you? Do you often have to watch your back around your friends? That's what I mean when I'm talking about protecting. Mm -hmm. Protecting what's your temple, your body, what's going in your body? Are you nourishing yourself, man? Masculine energy, man? What are you feeding? This is protecting yourself too, man. What are you feeding your thoughts, your state of mind, man? What are you putting on your body? How are you balancing your testosterone? That's a part of protecting yourself, man. Because that means you're, pro you're protecting <laughs> your seed or the lack thereof if your testosterone ain't in balance. And then professing your love. You know, they say provide, protect, and profess. Man, if man, if man in the masculine energy, man don't know how to be the I am and profess that I am the provider. I am in balance. I am worthy. If you don't know how to do that first, man, for yourself, you can't do that for no woman. Contrary to what social media try to tell you, you got to go out and you just protect and, and provide and profess your love to all of these women out there. How are you going to do that if you don't know how to do that to yourself first? Because life happens through you, man, not to you. <laughs> life happens through you. So you radiating, hey, I'm not a good provider. I'm not a good protector. I don't even take care of my body. You radiating that. And all you're going to attract is them. No frequency women. That's vibing on that wavelength. So when we're talking about hormones and in this wild yam butter falling off of the shelf, these people who are now putting this on their body, they're balancing their hormones. Their logic and reason and cognitive thinking is returning to them. Just by placing it on their, they, they, a sensitive part of their body once a day for a man, twice a day for a woman. Here's some other things that happens when you're, these hormones are out of balance. You're overly emotional. It's like your youth or your innocence as a woman is being taken away. Anybody know somebody with real crackhead, dry skin? Real crackhead, dry skin. Anybody? You ever saw somebody with some dry skin? This is a wild yam butter. It's available on my website. It's a hormonal uh, balancer. <laughs> it's a skin nourisher for those overly emotional people that don't have the empire state of mind. <laughs> they all stop building a fence, Chris, so I'm so serious. This is for those people with low lambidos. This is, this is some other some other symptoms is mood swings. So how are you going to attract the high value man with mood swings when he in corporate America? Can you handle the high value man? Hmm? Can you? Without blowing up his phone. I'm talking to the people that the supporters of, of Sprinkle Sprinkle, but ain't getting what you want because your mind, your state of mind ain't empire. You want the empire, but your state of mind ain't empire because your hormones are out of balance. And you know it. <laughs> I once did this guy, did this guy one day. He was an older man and he he and everybody was at all for what I had on one day at work or whatever. The guys, whatever, complimenting me in this older band. Said, Look, y'all, y'all get up out the way. I ain't about to mess with B. I ain't about to mess with B. I'm too old for this here. I need to get my rest at night. And it was the funniest thing because he's an old man. And he was like, you, B ain't going to have me up here not get my rest. I need to get my rest. It was the funniest thing. It just made me think about it. But... <laughs> But yeah, some people can't even rest at night because their mind is not an empire state of mind. When they lay their head on that pillow, man, he ain't calling today. I wonder if he was with somebody. I wonder if da 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 da. That is hormones that are out of balance. Not to mention the food with the added hormones. If we talk about health and wellness, not to mention the high fructose, which is a high. You get it? High fructose corn syrup that tricks your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really full brings you on an elevated high. You already high, high full of estrogen. Then you high from the high fructose corn syrup. Then you high 
hide because you have anxiety. Then you hide because you're stressed out. Then if you eat chicken, you'd be going on another high, especially if you're blood type B because they have added hormones in chicken all the way down to the bone. And it causes inflammation in your body. And it is a chicken or meat that your blood type needs to avoid. So you on a double decker, triple hormonal imbalance high. And you trying to be a high value woman with that makeup on. You look pretty. But you're still radiating that your hormones are out of balance. You ever seen the prettiest women? The prettiest women. Men are, is, are there any men up in here? Big T, Roy. Y'all done dated. Keith up in here. Frederick up in here. Who else? Dion up in here. My regulars. Are y'all up in here? Y'all ever dated a pretty, 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 pretty woman? King? King up in here. King answer this question for me. King done dated. <laughs> His name King for a reason, y'all. Come on now. You ever dated? Hey, Miss Grateful. You ever dated King? I'm talking to you. Could you answer this for me? Have you ever dated? Keith already said it for me. Have you ever dated a beautiful woman and she was crazy as all out damn doors? I mean, she was beautiful. Fine, probably smelled good. Probably did her lips delicious, booty-licious, curvaceous, and you was like, damn, like, right? You, like, really liked her, like, right? And she was just a hormonal basket case. I'll wait for your answer, King. Any other men want to elaborate on that? You ever? It came with the territory, Royal said. So it's like an understood thing. Here go King. King King just replied. Now I'm about to read what King. I ain't never look at it yet. I'm about to read what King said. A lot of pretty girls playing pretty uh, roles, but it hits different when they have a pretty soul. I love that. I love that. It's so different. It's so different. <laughs> it, it's different. He said, that touched my heart. That was so, I love the way you worded that, King. You ain't the king for nothing. You ain't just, you ain't just talking about it. You bought it over there. I can tell by that reply over there. Crystal, a female says, look, a female says, I know some women like that. That shit crazy, Crystal said. <laughs> but beautiful. Hormones out of whack. Could you nudge them and tell them? It, could you nudge them? Could you share this with them? And tell them, baby, one little, one little fix. Your eyebrows, your, your makeup, everything is up to par. But baby, if you balance them hormones and get your mind together, oh, you gonna be a bad man, my jam it in. When you get your mind together. So, so this here allows you to get back to reason detoxification of that mind, that mental clarity returning back to you. Men too, men too, some of them, now go, we're going to flip it now. You ever met a badass crazy man? I, I, I could say one of them. I, I be telling y'all about my partner. Sometimes I be talking, y'all don't be knowing what partner I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I got two. Let me, let me let you in on that. Wait, wait, hold up, guys. What you mean you got two partners? I got two. I got one. If you, you listen clear, clearly to the two that I got, because everybody, every woman need two partners. You need that partner that have shoulders and legs in the physical reality, right? And you could hold his hand in the physical reality. You could touch him. Mm -hmm. And he's a provider. He's so strong. He got shoulders, he got eyes, a head, and everything. And you hear me when I say that? He's what you would call a human being. But you also need, for some of these crazy men out here, another partner when the first one with legs ain't around. But this partner here, this partner can hold your hand, but he can't talk to you. He got a real sharp eye, though. And he aimed to please you. He gonna be your best friend and he has a firm grip for when your physical partner ain't around. And he a kid for you. <laughs> and you get to a point where you get this partner from a local store 
because you didn't probably experience the crazy ass man with too much of testosterone that probably hormones was out of balance if you know what i mean <laughs> linus you picked that one up <laughs> if you know what i mean if you a woman and you didn't experience the crazy back in the day you now officially have two partners and when one is not present the other one is with you matter of fact the man one the one that have shoulders will tell you to go ahead honey cheat on me with the other one when i'm not around <laughs> Every now and then, y'all all do a little date together. Like, right? Y'all go out on dates to little places where y'all got to put little, little. <laughs> y'all got to put little earphones on. Plug up your ears. It'd be so loud up in there. Y'all be having so much fun. You see what I mean? Because they got some crazy, got to keep to people out there. With hormonal issues. <laughs> Kelvin, you hear me? <laughs> yeah, Bakiba says, he up in here. This is a man now. Listen to what Bakiba said. Y'all get offended if you say something. Like, who are you? Yeah. 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 Easily offended. Won't smile. Wishing somebody would. All of these are signs of hormonal imbalances. Even with the men, the men that be crazy. This was a long, long time ago, though. But I was young, y'all. I was young, and all of the men in my family at that time, and my husband included, was like, yeah, go get you another partner. Like, right? Just, just crazy, you know, you date some people and they immediately think it's an immediately ownership-like, right? If you're a woman, you probably experienced that before in your life. And I'm telling you, that's leading to the state of mind of them people. Them people are sick in their mind, hormonal imbalances that have you like that. Just like how hormonal imbalances will have you with that gluttonous spirit. Hormonal imbalances have you wishing somebody would. Back in the day when we had this, um, the, the, they had, I don't know if it's still out there. I think it was a Housewives of Atlanta. And they had the lady Nene and the lady Candy. And you could really see the hormonal imbalances there. But people just was like, yeah, I like so-and-so because she's real. And, and, and why is Candy always crying? When you get a whole bunch of women in the room, you could see clearly clear as day and then they had this lady i don't remember what housewife this was but they had another housewife show and they had this lady who was married to a basketball player and this lady had so much of grace and poise about herself so her story seemed to on the housewives as if it was boring the lady the lady had a sound mind the lady the lady was so graceful the lady hormones was invalid and guess what they, they put her off the show you ain't chaotic enough Life wants you to be out of balance. <laughs> you want you to be out of balance so much because attention goes to imbalances. Oh, ooh, that's wild. Because remember, we are all chaos. We stem from chaos, the darkness that was on the face of the deep. Like, right? So that's familiar to us. Like, right? Our job, our role here in the game of life is bringing light to our darkness. Or better yet, putting out the chaos. But some people love the chaos. We'll, in our physical reality, love chaos so much till we be like, yeah, you heard about that? Man, man, you saw that? Look, look, you ain't watching the news? Look, let me show you. I got it right here. Look, look, here goes some chaos right here. Man, girl, look. And I heard da 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 and da 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 We just want that because of the chaos we stem from. And forgetting that way, we own a journey of the unfoldment, of bringing peace in the midst of the chaos. Like, right? And so, so for, for some people, their hormonal issues would be so out of balance. And they, this me, this me, this how I am. I'm 45 years old. I ain't changing. What they're really saying is, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know. 
I've been like this for so long. My hormones been out of balance since I was like 10 or 15 years old. And I see other people and I kind of like low key don't like them because I, I see that they're feminine. And I see that they know how to be calm. I see that dude or that man, that gentleman with swag and how he walks up in the room and he walks up in the room slow. You ever paid attention? To, to when your hormones out of balance, you got, you got chaos. Like, like we talk about little mom and she jumped on the stage and she chaotic. We talk about people that yell and throw things and bust windows out of car. Like, right, that's imbalances. But have you ever paid attention to like the Marilyn Monroe's of the world who are graceful and slow? Like, right, the Shira Seven Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, how she is just grateful, graceful and slow in her delivery. Like the gentleman, the high value so called gentleman. He's grateful, graceful, and slow. And so, for these are type of people when they walk in a room gracefully and slowly, you have to pay attention to the fact that they get everybody attention. Boy, it's something about being in balance with your hormones. You get everybody attention, and you just being because you're radiating confidence. You're radiating the lack of that antsy feeling, that 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 depression, that anxiety, that PTSD. That you're radiating that. No, oh, I have a sound mind. No, I'm worthy. No, I'm balanced. And so people don't understand you that much, and it, it really make you seem so mysterious. Behold up. Look at her gracefully looking and sitting there doing nothing, but yet radiating so much. Going to the beach, walking to the beach and flowing with her beach outfit, which really covers her, her but giving her so much radiance at the same time because she's in balance. It's like she wants nothing, but yet she's attracting everything because her hormones are in balance. This is that missing piece for you people. Let me tell you something about this year. I had this on sale for my day ones. Y'all, y'all up in here, y'all still on the YouTube. I want y'all to know I move. I y'all know I move on purpose. And I want y'all to know what I did. When I created this on my website, I have a part of this intervene church. I have people who support me and I love to give back. And the way I give back is sometimes I put extra things up in the order. Sometimes I do drastic discounts and stuff. Sometimes like with this one here, I was paying attention to my day ones and making sure that they got the wild yam butter. So they could be in balance. So they could, because I wish above all things that you prosper being good health, even as your soul prosper. So what I did in knowing that I'm an herbalist, that I'm gonna get the most expensive essential oils, I'm gonna get the most organic products, everything in here is top tier, baby. You can't compare to nothing else that you didn't you didn't heard that Barbara O'Neill's voice was hooked to, and it ain't even Barbara O'Neill products. I don't I don't have to move like that. I don't have to put put Barbara O'Neill on on my video to get traction over here while I hold my stuff, like, right? Because I could stand behind it. I have supporters, like, right? And what I was doing purposely, I was making sure my, my day one, okay, Tangie got hers. I was doing roll call because I knew my price was half off. I looked at the other one just to see, just to see what the price was, right? Oh, they charge that price. I'm gonna charge half off. Then in my in my just in case anybody didn't pay attention to this year, I wanna I wanna I wanna see it because it's over now. In case nobody paid attention, I put that it was a two ounce. This is actually a four ounce. I put two ounces, which was a smaller amount that they thought that they was getting. Just in case y'all missed that, my day ones. I put two ounces, but this is really a four ounce. Then the price, I put it at half off of what everybody, the lowest possible price so that my day of ones could get it. So that when they got it, they would have been surprised like, oh, I thought it was just a two ounce. I got a four ounce and I got a good deal. And so what I realized is some of my day ones, they kind of knew that this was a darn good deal. Let me get multiple. And so I saw that they was buying three and four and five at a time. And I'm like smiling to myself. I'm giving back. I'm giving back. All week I've been busting my butt. I've been making yam butter all week to make sure my day ones had it. This is my way of giving back. And so for those of you that's not subscribed to my newsletter, this is how you miss out on exclusive discounts and deals right there. Because you would have known this. 
So yesterday I sent out an email and I had three left because I had a count and I had an appointed time how long I was going to do it because I wanted to be a blessing to so many people. And I was down to the last three where I was going to do my regular price. And I sent out an email last night and I told him, hey, guys, we're down to three left. Just to let you know, we're going to the original price after these three. And I'm so happy that I was in a position to help you all. And I didn't even tell them in the newsletter that, hey, I helped you so much like this and this. I ain't even bring, I wasn't even braggadocious in the newsletter. I just told them I was happy to be in a position to help you. For those of you who missed out, if it's in your cart, go ahead and grab it. As soon as I sent that email, the last three were gone. Right? A blessing to those that support me. That's how I give back. That's how confident I am in this product. That's how much I stand behind my stuff and I want my day ones to experience this blessing. And for those that had a difficult time, because sometimes people ain't got no money, like, right? I talk about consciousness and helping people on their journey, but it's in the right now. If you don't have it in the right now, you can't get it right now. You might miss out. So I wanted people. I remember once upon a time what I didn't have. I wanted people in every walk of life to be able to conjure up a little couple of dollars to help them, even if it's just one time. Bring them hormones down. Take that edge off. Get some reasoning and some sound mind about yourself. And so for my day ones, if you're in here, I'm hopeful that you could, you heard that. That was my gift to you. And I'm happy to be in a position to be able to give to you. So for everybody else, you missed the sale, baby. It's still available in my link tree, but it is at the original price. And the reason why I um, set this particular original price is because I have top tier ingredients and here all ingredients are listed. Everything is sourced organic. Everything is going to give you the vital minerals that you need to help you from head to toe because your hormones control everything. Hormones control your sleep. So there we go with our circadian rhythm, you being out of balance. Hormones control your eating habits. That's why you probably hooked on certain foods and can't stop and can't lose weight. Hormones is going to control your weight. Hormones is going to control that thyroid, overactive thyroid or underactive thyroid. Hormones are going to be controlled, um, controlling your skin. This is why as you age, you get cracked skin. Hormones is controlling that hair growth. This is why you get that dry, brittle hair as you begin to get older. This is why they say black don't crack because we're supposed to be in balance with our hormones enough for it not to crack but if you your your hormones out of balance you that black person and you crack and crack 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 i guarantee you crack it because your hormones regulate all of that <laughs> even that insulin resistance that's hormonal baby thyroid endometriosis painful periods estrogen dominance the big c all of this i can bring you back to hormone so if you slept on the wild yam butter you did yourself no service, right? You're going to be one of them so-called pygmishas that Miss Seven, uh, Shira Seven talks about. And you're not going to obtain that sound mind because you had a, you're having war inside of your body and you're not giving your body the proper tubes to fight and put out the fire, a.k.a. inflammation. Bring that estrogen down and, and bring it to an even balance and age you into maybe menopause pre uh, menopause, perimenopause, age you into your adolescence because we're going through all of these cycles, all of these cycles. And if you depleted in the hormones that's valuable for you, you out of whack, you out of balance. All right. <laughs> you don't have the empire state of mind. So that's, that's going to be your thing. A lot of women going to be able to attract that so-called high value. Just like men, they're able to attract the pretty youthful women, but they can't keep them because that sound of mine ain't there. They cuckoo for cocoa puffs in here <laughs> because their hormones out of balance, because they bugaboos, because I done had my, my share of many, 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 many men with a whole lot of money. And guess what? No, sir. No, you're going to drive me crazy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. You're going to stop calling me today. Not a bugaboo, not for my quality of mind and how I like to have my peace. Oh, no, you can't. You can't be bugging me. You calling me again. You interrupting my life. You peeking behind the curtains and stuff. You knocking on the door because you want uh -uh, uh -uh. everybody. And then, then it's goals because I, I, I know to work around people that are way, way wealthier than, than what we be seeing on social media. Like, right. 
And the people, they about business. And if you're bringing chaos to a peaceful environment, you getting cut off. And Jay-Z was the show little mama back in 2009 that you're not going to do this in my environment. You're not going to bring your hormones that are out of whack in my environment because I'm about my paper, so to speak. I'm about my business. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you all. The missing piece and why some people can't keep. They could attract, but they can't keep that so-called high value person or that provider because you're giving them a damn headache because your hormones are out of balance because you're cuckoo for cocoa pops. And I'm not being ugly. I'm just giving it to you in layman's term that you got to balance your hormone, baby. And it comes a moment in life where you got to look at yourself in the mirror and deal with yourself. And if you can't focus really hard with your mind state and deal with yourself like that and, 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 and go within and bring harmony within, then you need herbs. Herbs are our nature's secret cure for anything that ails us. All right. Let me check on some of these comments. Yeah. 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 I sure was crazy. Look at Crystal. Chris, Crystal said she's going to be the woman in the mirror. She said, I sure was crazy. Crazy. I'm so proud of you for admitting that door. I'm so proud. I once upon a time when I was like a teenager, I was chaotic. Remember, I shared with you all that I was freaking crying. Now, I ain't never bust no windows out of no cars or whatever. But I did put some peanut butter and jelly on, on, my, on my husband's uh, glass one day. That's all I had, y'all. I had peanut butter and jelly, and I was mad, and I smeared it. That's that's as that's, that's as crazy as I got. Now, I do no no nice drive-bys and, and showing up in crazy places. I have a peanut butter and jelly. I was mad. I was cooking dinner. <laughs> I was cooking there and opened up that pantry. I saw that peanut butter and jelly. My sister clowned me to this day. My sister clowned me to this day about the dang peanut butter and jelly. She's like, remember the peanut butter and jelly? Look at you now, girl. You the show grew up. <laughs> but that's all I had. I was cooking there. I was mad. And that was during the time. I don't know if they're making no more. The peanut butter and jelly. Jelly was in a little glass bottle together. Man, I opened up that pantry. And that's all I saw. And I saw the paper towel on the counter. And I got me the paper towel. And I got me some peanut butter and jelly. And I went outside and I was like, and that was it. <laughs> no, he's going to have to clean it off. I was so angry. <laughs> Let me read this here. Uh, I got one before the sale. I'll need to order more. Miss B, I'm so happy you caught the sale. I'm so happy Tangy, my key book, key caught the sale. Frederick caught the sale. I was doing roll call up in here. Read the reader. Miss Grateful caught the sale. I'm so excited for y'all. Yeah, I need to be brought back to harmony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what it's all about. Getting back, getting out of that chaos, man. Life's not supposed to be chaotic, you know? We ain't supposed to be on the edge all the time. We ain't supposed to be tripping all the time, like, right? Let's see. Um, gratefulness is easy when you stand 10 toes down in your truth. I love that. Oh, wait, I'm going to wait a minute. You Do I follow you? Do I follow? Let me follow King, y'all. Look. Take me to the king. I followed you, king. Yeah, stuck in their lower nature. So I go to my little friend that needs my hand to make it move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Friend to the end. Yeah, the one that gets hands and shoulders. That feels sometimes. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. I, I see the second comment. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. You know, because, you know, some people in it. And that was a long, long time ago. I don't, you know have to fool with that now but i'm just saying in the beginning when 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 you're younger and when you're see see what i see what i just said how i told on myself and when you're remember i was telling you i was a little out of balance back then too when you're out of balance all you're gonna meet is your out of balance version so that was during the day when i was meeting out, out ba unbalanced versions of me he was a little crazy I kind of what what I oh, it was just the fact that every everywhere I went I, I just noticed this person now I'm like what the, how you oh hell no <laughs> and so some of my little crazy at that time activated like right okay so I'm gonna go get me a partner like right <laughs> yeah she's oh my god mind your thoughts I know you're not I know you're not still asking. You're so welcome. I know you're not still asking what I was holding in my hand. Mind your thoughts. Did you figure it out yet? I purchased two yesterday. Can't wait to use it. I'm so happy for you, Sal, and everybody that was able to get it. 
Oh, look at Frederick. I was talking about Frederick. He up in here. Okay. If I wanted to buy the product, I need you to tell me the name of the um of it, sort of beer. The name of the product right here. It's called Wild Yam Butter. If you click on the link in my bio, it'll bring you to my link tree. And then you're going to click on the word called stores. And you're going to scroll down. And it, I think it's about the third product over there on, in the store. It's called Wild Yam Butter. It's a hormonal balancer, whether you are a woman or a man. And you, if you're a man, you put it on you once a day. If you're a woman, you put it on you twice a day in a little sensitive, you know, delicate spot. Like, you know what? I didn't have none today. We're about to do it right quick. And so, because this is my bottle right here that I've been using on my lives. So a sensitive spot. And when I say sensitive or delicate, like uh, maybe right here, maybe in the cracks of your um, arm right here, your forearm, your inner thigh right here, which is really, really sensitive. This is one of the major places that I tell everybody to put. Oh, wait, YouTube can't see me. This is one of the major places where I tell everybody to put because you got your liver right here, your um, gallbladder duct to release bile, and then you got your transverse colon and then descending. And so if you put it right there, you're actually getting flow, you know, getting some waste moves, you know, because you live how you live and you want to have that to be clear. So today I'm going to put some right here. This is a this is a delicate spot. And, and since you have some more in your hand, I would say the sensitive areas, even your ankle, maybe behind your neck, maybe behind your ears, the smaller of your back, you know, places like that is where you want to put it. And so what go, your skin is the largest organ on your body. What you put on you penetrates inside of you. And so the active ingredients in here is, is um, wild yam root. But I also have some other herbs inside of here that balances out uh, your hormone. It is high in magnesium. So when you feel the texture of it, the silkiness of it, anybody felt the texture of it, the ones that have it, it's really, really silky. And the silkiness of it is symbolic of it being plentiful in magnesium. Magnesium is also needed in every organ of the body to help the body to detox. And so it helps you with clear skin as well. So here's the thing, though. You're only putting a small amount on, you know, your body, your skin, for example. So you want to choose the place wisely. Like, right? It helps you with smooth, nourished uh, skin. Hydrating your skin is what I'm meaning. Um, it helps you with testosterone and estrogen balances. It'll help men with the um, eggplant that's kind of like going all, going out. Uh, erectile dysfunction, I'll say it like that. It'll help men actually really be more physically, physically fit, even in their older years, because that's hormonal imbalances. When the estrogen, as men get older, they end up peaking more in the estrogen because testosterone is going down based on chaotic diets and stuff. You know how they turn into being grumpy and they're chilling and they read the newspaper and they're playing with the grandchildren and, and they're nicer now and calmer now. Well, still at they meet that moment, they are going through a cycle. And men, like I always say, have cycles, like right? These here butter once a day for them can balance out their hormones and get them through this here cycle to bring up testosterone still in their body. And so this is also helping with blood flow. So ED in men is symbolic to not having proper blood flow in the proper areas down there, like, right? And so blood flow will get them with their eggplant going again as well. Women, as it pertains to painful periods, endometriosis, fibroids, these are all hormonal things, cervix um, issues, uh, irregular pap smears. Um, it'll help you balance out your hormones so now your cycles ain't hurt you no more. Now you don't have tissues growing outside of your uterus all in your abdominal cavity and having you inflamed and on fire. So, so for women, you know, inner thigh and the lower small of the stomach, that's also a good place for women and men, actually, because that's closer to the man's prostate area. You want to get in that inner thigh area and right here so you can really detox your body. And so upon applying it, some of the side effects is the fact that you become calmer, like, right? Your, 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 um, your eating habits are changing as you are adjusting to it. So you take it takes about maybe about two to three weeks for you to adjust to the wild yam butter in your system, like right? But immediately you're gonna get in sync with the circadian rhythm and get peaceful rest. 
So for anybody that have um, PTSD or insomnia that want to go to bed, Wild Yam Butter is available. Link in my bio. There are three people that I would say this is a no-no for. And that'll be 12 and under children because they shouldn't be peaking in hormones or estrogen, which a lot of them already are because of the chaotic diet. But 12 and under, this is a no-no. If you're on hormone replacement therapy, this is a no-no. And if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, this is a no-no. Those are the only three forms of people who should stay away from the wild yam butter. Pregnant women, after you um, finish breastfeeding, you can begin then. Um, but hormone replacement, no, because you're competing with a synthetic drug. Synthetic drugs and organic stuff, they don't go at hand together. So if you're going to be on the rock, synthetic rocks or peels or whatever, don't do this here at the same time. Or hormone replacement, if you're trying to become a woman and you're a man, and you, or you're a man and you're trying to become a woman or, you know, dealing with your estrogen issues from your injections and all that, don't purchase this. But if you are not one of them three types, then yes, this is for you. Whether you're a woman or a man, this is for you. Yeah. I need to be brought back to harmony. Yeah. Okay, let me see some more um, comments over here. You purchased two yesterday. Okay, if I wanted to uh, buy, okay, I'll answer that. Hey, Quinn, the capsaicin, does it cause heavy um, stomach pain if taken without food? I would recommend it out without food. You're going to feel it. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna be like a cramp, like, you know, upset stomach pretty much. Yeah, you said it. Upset, heavy stomach pain. Yeah, without food. I wouldn't. It says, that's the directions, take with food. Okay? So I wouldn't suggest that. I have. You're going to survive, but you won't be more in more discomfort if, if you, you know, if you do. I have. I have. But I'm a little different. <laughs> you know, since I'm an herbalist, I'm a little different. I'll be doing the most sometimes. <laughs> but uh, I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should do that. Uh, yeah, the um, craziest as I got back when I was younger, woman, I, I flattened sweethearts. Oh, my God. You, you, you mindful thoughts? Oh, that must have been a time when your uh, thoughts wasn't too mindful. You the one that flattened a sweetheart uh, girlfriend's times? I flattened somebody's tired before he was cheating on me. But it's been 30 years ago. Oh, okay. Well, I did peanut butter and jelly. I ain't flattened no tire. Uh -uh. That sounds like police. And uh -uh. I ain't going <laughs> Now, if the police was passing on the street while you was flat and tired, they probably was like, hey, ma'am, what you doing over there? If the police passed by me, I got peanut butter and jelly. They were trying to solve for something. I could have <laughs> got away with that easy. I just had a napkin, peanut butter and jelly. They probably thought I was washing the car at night. But you with a knife, they, oh, nah, I, I never pulled out the knives in that night. <laughs> Charles Royals. <laughs> Royal said church stained with windows. <laughs> the, the windows will stay with the peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, show sure did. First lady show sure did. It's testimony time up in here. Look at how God brought me over. Look at how I got delivered. <laughs> I don't do that that, that no. <laughs> I don't do that no more. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I behaved like a child, but when I became conscious, I put that peanut butter and jelly away. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, that is funny. That wild yam cream has me going to the restroom. Yes. Get that about an air balance and hormones. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Make sure you make sure you put an honest uh, review on the website. We got some websites, I mean, some reviews pinning. Make sure you add that to the website for me, please, and I appreciate you. That means just going back to the Wild Yam Cream, and then you'll see the review tab right underneath the picture, and you just type in your comment. What are y'all saying about me that I caught on the sale? <laughs> in your 20s? Sugar, oh my God, wait, we got people testifying in the intervene church. Go ahead on, Crystal. Crystal says she did the sugar in the tank. Oh my God. See what them hormones are doing though? Crystal, Crystal hormones was out of balance, y'all. 
I'm not the only one. I had the peanut butter and jelly. Mindful thought she did a tire. Crystal did the sugar in the tank. And I'm sure some of y'all done did something. Y'all just looking at it like y'all greater than. But y'all in the inner being church, we ain't here to judge you. We here to say, guess what? I, once upon a time, we're going to call it what it was. We were out of balance. We were not in flow. We were in a state of resistance. Our hormones were out of balance. And that's what we're talking about this while you're in butter. You probably been there once upon a time. You probably did something crazy. I mean, nobody's out here is exempt. He who is without sin, or and when I say sin, I don't mean it like God gonna get you kind of sin. He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. What I'm saying is he who has come out of alignment with their inner self, that's the greatest sin of them all. When you when you out of alignment with yourself, he who is without alignment with himself, let him cast the first stone. And there's everybody in this realm that have been out of alignment with their inner being. Hmm. Crystal said, I've been delivered. She was in her 20s, y'all. I've been delivered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was saying, uh, Frederick, that you caught the wild yam, um, the wild yam butter. Unless it's another Frederick that signed up to my um, newsletter. It's caught the wild yam butter on sale at a discounted rate because that was my way of giving back. Yeah. Yeah. He who is without sin, I'm going to order one. I missed it. <gasps> you missed it? But I'll pay full price. Oh, babe, you missed it yesterday. It was a blessing. It was such a blessing. Hey, Cosmic Ben. Hey, Cosmic Ben. The wild yam butter have been has been detoxing me. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Make sure you write that. I bust a few windows. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's Lioness. Now, y'all, that's the fourth person. And I know it's more than four. Some of y'all, you know, probably not saying it. Well, just it's no problem. Maybe you want to, you know, be discreet about what you've done. But you know you've done something in your mind. And you know something was done when you were not in your empire state of mind, state of beingness. And that is, my dear, what hormones being out of balance have you, women, doing, and men. So if you, and you know this to be true, some of you women in the physical reality will have so much anxiety when a guy hasn't called you. Now you're calling him. Now you're exuding masculine energy. Some of, they could, based upon your trauma, and your trauma is still present there in the forefront of your mind because of the simple fact that your hormones are out of balance. And you don't have the cognitive ability to focus in reason. So really what you're doing in your mind state of being is you're just remembering all the things that hurt you because you're so used to feeling that way. And you're retrieving from your record room. Oh, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me what it feels like for, you know, when somebody cheated on me. And you just have that at the forefront. So there, what for when you meet new people, even if this is a high value person, even if you changed your makeup and now you're wearing the flowy dresses and all that, and you got your pink nails on and all that to be in a balance with feminine energy still in your record room, in your mind, there is no production of DHEA. There is no cognitive thinking and reasoning and ability to focus there. So all that you can pay attention to is your past. And so when you meet this person, even though this person could be a good person, because that person will move to the rhythm of your beat. You're going to emit a signal of your trauma to this person. And even if that person was good to all of the other women in their life, it just happened to be one day of this year that he walking around and he's single just today. And tomorrow he going to choose on that very day because you so chaotic in your mind because your hormones out of balance. You send a signal to him to be chaotic with you and to give you reasons why he ain't no good because you send out a signal. Oh, man, ain't shit. Oh, man, ain't shit. Oh, man, ain't shit. Because your hormones are out of whack. And that's all you can see. Y'all get that? That's how energy works. So we only meeting we, who we are. And so he came to play and rendezvous with you, even though he a good man, a good provider. And he'll tell you later on after he after he show you based upon the command that you sent him to show you that he ain't S-H-I-T. He'll show you or he'll probably tell others, man, I was wrong for that. I don't know why I did that to that girl. I ain't even like that, man. It's because you're sending out, because your hormones are so out of whack that you send out a signal that make people yield to you and be a monster to you. Hello? That's how cold you are with your ability to create your own reality, God. Now I hear the trickers chip tripping in the room. Because I know y'all, some of y'all self-reflecting. Some of y'all, y'all could, could go. I, I, I've had girlfriends. <laughs> 
forever. I have many, 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 many girlfriends, not being ugly with any of them, but some of them, you know, it don't matter. It don't matter. They, 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 they really, really, you know, the pretty, you know, like, like I'm, I'm the girlfriend among the girlfriends. That's like, you know, the nature girl, like I'm, you know, the vegan girl, like what? I'm the natural girl. Like what? Like, look, no nails done, no makeup on, like, right? Like what? I'm the little natural girl. I, I, I dress up, you know, I know, I know how to do the feminine flowing dresses and stuff when I want to, but I'm the retired natural girl right now. And this is how I feel good. Like, right. But, but they do all of this dolled up stuff. Some of them, that empire state of mind. Be like, girl, you're so pretty. That's that's all I say. Is you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. That's all I say. But I see, I see that signal that's being radiated by them from them. They tell me all the time what's going on because of what they're radiating. But they, they it's not clicking that. Oh, I gotta radiate something different. It don't, it don't, it don't really matter that I. I got this bag and, and, and this here designer and, and I get my eyebrows done like this. It don't matter how much I beat my face. It, it, it don't matter if my soul ain't been anchored. It don't, it don't really matter if I don't didn't let a new mind be in me. It don't really matter if I'm emitting a signal that is off-putting to everybody. It don't even matter because I might look feminine, but I'm hard as shit up in here. It don't even matter. If you miss that part, you're delaying your manifestation. You're delaying your happily ever after. If you miss that part, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, Miss B is asking, does wow yam butter re um, release mucus from your nose? It is an anti um, inflammatory, yes. So if you're inflamed in certain areas of your body, it, you, you, you actually. Matter of fact, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before when I ended my live and I was like, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, I feel that in, in my vegan state of being, I can feel the flow of that. So, yes, wherever you have excess mucus at in your body is, is allowing it to flow. It's allowing everything harmoniously to flow when your balance on your hormones are balanced. Everything is flowing and regulated properly. It's like. I don't know much about cause, but I'm I'm thinking it's like getting your alternator fix, transmission, one of them. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it's that very, very important aspect of your body in, in the sense that everything is about hormonal balances. Vitamin D, hormonal, thyroid, hormonal, incident, incidence, insulin resistance, hormonal. Ability to have children, like, right? Hormonal. Your period, your cycle, hormonal. Your skin, when it ages, hormonal. Your hair, when it's youthful and growing real, real fast and real, real thick, hormonal. You're thinking about them hormones. Your ability to see, hormonal. <laughs> your, believe it or not, your bone health, hormonal. This is why it helps with osteoporosis, osteoporosis and um, bone health and development, hormonal. Yeah, so it does. Big T, what you laughing at? What I said? Y'all be laughing at me? I bought a couple of, a few days ago. I believe they were on sale. Yeah, Frederick. Yeah, I think that was you. Yeah, it was you. You, the Frederick I'm talking about. You caught the sale. And so that's what I was saying. Congratulations to my day ones who were able to participate in Catch the Sale because I was, I put on there that it was a two ounce bottle, but I surprised you all with a four ounce bottle that you received and a price that you never, ever, ever going to find for you while yam butter ever on social media platform. You're not going to find that. I need it for my fibroids. Definitely. So lovely. You will put it on that area where you have them fibroids because those tissues that are growing are growing out of control inside of you because it's a hormonal imbalance. Fibroids and endometriosis are kind of like a walk on the same in the same kind of like, right? Similar because, you know, it's both of them are tissues, tissues that are growing that even if you get something snipped or whatever, because, you know, the white coat people like to snip on you. Even if you get these said things snipped out of you, they're going to grow back. So let's not get our, you know, parts snipped off, you know, our private parts snipped off. Let's get to the cure 
for the core rather to cure the issue. And the issue is hormonal imbalances and the hormones got out of balance because what we were probably on our birth control pills. We were probably overindulging in uh, chicken, which is highly hormonal. We were, had a diet that was symbolic of eating right for our blood type. So don't forget about getting your meal plan for your blood type. So you'll know the things that you need to avoid and the things that now you need to assume and uh, consume. I'm not saying you need to become a vegan or be on a straight and narrow, but you need to know the foods that are highly beneficial that's going to put out the inflammation in the fire and keep you from revisiting hormonal issues. And so you pay attention to your ingredients once you get on the wild yam um, butter. Now you begin to pay attention to the ingredients in foods like soy. If you're not a blood type A and AB, you should be avoiding soy. Only A's and AB's need soy-based proteins because they're closer to the end of vegans amongst all blood groups. But the B's and the O's, you need to be avoiding it, especially blood type B, because you ha we have lectins intolerant lectins intolerances inside of our body that gives us inflammation, puts us on fire as soon as we eat something that is against our bloodline. And so we people just walking around inflamed and hormones out of balance, and they don't even know it. So they put wild yam butter on their skin or something, and they're like. Because you don't realize you're on fire until the fire starts to go out, like, right? And bring back the harmony, right? It's good for arthritis too, right? Yep, wherever you're having that cramp, hey, Erica, wherever you're having those cramps and that soreness, because it's anti-inflammatory, like, right? It's anti-inflammatory, and it's good for bone health, and it's high in magnesium. These are the three ways that it's going to be good for arthritis. Because people with arthritis need magnesium to detox their body. Yeah, those are people most often than not are very ascetic. They got so ascetic to their bones and stuff is cracking up on them. They're depleted in magnesium because the magnesium actually makes us limber, gives us that buoyancy, the ability to like um, uh, be soothed like with our muscle cramps in pain, this is why people will take Epsom salt after they, you know, ran or whatever or worked out. It got sore because they they understand the connection. That's that's a form. Epsom salt is a form of magnesium. They understand the connection of magnesium, but magnesium needs to be in that mouth too. You see, I put it in here because a lot of y'all hard headed and hard heads make soft faces and you ain't going to eat right for your blood type. You're going to just get the cream, but I'm encouraging you to eat right for your blood type too now. Because that's one of the reasons why you got in this situation. But nonetheless, if you don't, I'm thinking care of you still because I put some magnesium in your wild yam butter. I put magnesium up in there for the hard heads. <laughs> the magnesium, the wild yam, the beneficial oils for your blood type, the beneficial essential uh, oils as well that are highly beneficial for hormonal balances. And I didn't list them one by one, but I will tell you that they're organic. I will tell you that they are hundreds of dollars for one little small two ounce bottle of these oils that I put inside of my wild yam butter. I don't get cheap stuff just to let you know, because I'm an herbalist and I don't shortchange y'all. Y'all see me every day when I do put this on me. Y'all see me putting this on me. I'm not about to put nothing crazy on me. I, everything that I put on me, I create it. I create. I don't do the commercial nothing. All the way down to my deodorant. Yeah, I just let me tell you something funny. I was saying to my family, you know what? I wonder if I could create toilet paper. <laughs> but I ain't gonna do it because they was like, come on now. Because <laughs> I created everything, every day, every product that we use. I wonder if I could create toilet paper like out of some kind of organic something. Because that's the thing that I don't. Cause you, cause you know, you go, okay, hear me out. Hear me out since I went there. Because they, you know, they spray toilet paper. Like what? They be putting all kind of little chemicals on the toilet paper. And so I was like, I think I can make it. But I ain't gonna make no toilet paper. That's a little too much. <laughs> but that's how much of a creator I know that I am. I know I can be doing half anything that I put my mind to, okay? So if in about five years I circle back and I have a whole toilet paper line, I'm just gonna need you to buy it. And I bet you you're going to have the best tush out there, okay? <laughs> hey, Candy. Hey, Candy. Let me see. I'm also doing the um, Candida yeast drink. Oh, Miss B, that's good. I did a video on how to get rid of Candida overgrowth. So that's good. Yeah, that's a good drink. I'm so happy you caught that. 
Okay, that's good. Oh, so if you're doing that in conjunction, oh, re you real, really good. You got a power pack concoction. You're doing the drink internally and you put in a wild yam butter on your skin. That's beautiful. You really cleaning out your liver. And so cleaning out your liver is really, really important as it pertains to hormones being out of balance, Miss B. And so that drink is cleaning out your liver. Your liver is how you live. And so that estrogen and dominance in all of the... um old toxins and um, things that's sitting maybe in the liver, baby, you good. That, that's equivalent to you doing the dealing with the nasty dandelion, like uh, the lemon and the grapefruit and everything that I was sharing with you, the highly beneficials in that drink, flush that liver out. And you get to a point, I want to share this with you all. We get to a point where we get in tune after healing our body and, and, and going through these things, you get so in tune with your body that you can feel it. And I'm going to show you how you feel it. If you lay down on the bed, after you drink your um, drink, Miss B, lay down on your back. Just lay down without nobody moving in the bed. It's got to be you in the bed by yourself. You close your eyes and you just kind of like go in. And so when I say go in, um, I, I would say, say hi to the liver. Like, bring your attention to the liver. Bring your attention to what you think the area of your kidney would be. Bring your attention there, like, right? And so bring your attention within, after you drank that drink, you'll begin to feel and pretty much identify where your bowel duct is. You will be able to feel the release, like, right? You can you get to this here place where you just feel it that you're so connected with your body that where you know, oh, I feel something flowing like trickling down something like right, and that's the place that you really want to be because that's when you're in tune with your body. That's when you're in tune with your body. That's how we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to be eating something chaotic and and nothing. You no, know, we don't feel nothing and not know we on fire. No, we're supposed to be able to eat our food and no wait, this is GMO. Oh no, wait, that ain't good for me. I can't, I can't have no more. You know, instead of flaring up and I don't know what it was. Cause I kept eating it. Could it be the crawfish or the tomatoes or what? And then they gotta do the you know squab test because you you have no idea. But if you was in tune, you would know immediately, you know. Yeah, yes, I've been trying to tell people that's what's going on with the toilet paper oh you've been trying to tell people that candy candy we need to get together and make some toilet paper boo we got to make some toilet paper <laughs> i'll do it uh, we can figure that thing out yeah yeah let's see i missed it i need it for my fibroids oh yeah yeah you missed out on the treat baby you gotta get you some the alternator train oh is the alternator or the transmission it's, it's two different things, huh, Big T? I'm behind on the comments. <laughs> you know what I mean, Big T. You, you, you know about them chunks and stuff. <laughs> just as long as you know. <sighs> Afternoon, goddess. I use my cream, and I just want to say thank you. I feel better day by day. Go ahead on, A1. But did you leave a review? I don't remember your name on that review. Could you go up in there and leave a review, A1? Y'all be coming to the live talking about how good the cream is. In, in, in I think I got four. I think I got four reviews. Uh, Tia Tia. Keith was my first review. Who else that was? Miss Gwen. Tia Tia. Keith. Miss Gwen. And Miss Grateful. And Miss Grateful. That was my four. Yeah. Make sure you leave a review for me, please. I'd appreciate that. I already ordered the meal plan from you. I'm O positive. Oh, you're the meat eater. You good. You good. You just got to stay away from that wheat. That wheat be the thing. That weed be the thing for you. <laughs> yeah, Big T, I see you. I'm working on my truck right now, but I got you in my ear. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's why you got me in that. Yeah, the alternator, the trip, mission, one of them. It, it just need gas. That's all I know. I, it just need gas. And then they got the little green light for when you want to save gas. I press that little eco button. That, I, look, I said, I know PD, EF, Hulk Drive, Empty full. <laughs> That's what I know. That's all I need to know. That's enough. Okay. Any other questions? Hey, hey, hey. Is it good? Okay. I answered that already. Any other questions about this hormonal issue? If you want to um, 
purchase the wild yam butter, go to the link in my bio or my website directly, either or, saltoftheearthpub.org. If you want to donate to the Inner Being Church, thank you all for the donations. Thank you all for my Amazon wish list, those that ordered and participated. It's offering time. It's offering time. For those who want to donate to this live and my cause and helping mankind to get in tap or in tune with yourself, cash out, God is just be. The donations will go toward my uh, Amazon wish list, or you can purchase something off the Amazon list wish list that'll come here. My goal for my life and the information and the knowledge that I leave for people is that I want to stand up and I want to have a whiteboard behind me and I want to have an anatomy objects behind me so I can really teach people who are visual learners. And then I'll be operating in more flow than what I am now uh, as it pertains to being able to move around and having everything that I need. I, I am a teacher of this. And if you find that you're shopping from people or following people who can't really teach you, they can't really teach you, then then maybe they're regurgitating something that they just read. This had used to be my life, you know. I'm teaching you from life experiences. Well, because once upon a time I saved the life, and the first one was my own. Then I saved the lives of those that were closest to me, my family and friends. And at this point in time, I have saved thousands in their journey on health and wellness. And so I want to stand up and have my environment symbolic of me being that person, that teacher, that healer, that holistic worker, that seer. And this is my purpose. This is really what I love to do. I'll do it if you don't even show up in the live. I'll still be here and I'll talk to myself and I have no problem with that. But I would love every day of my life to lay my head on my pillow and find peace and joy knowing that I helped at least one person every day. And that's my vow because when I experienced sickness and disease in my life or was at a hormonal imbalance in my state of being, I would often say, when I figure this shit out, and I said it just like that, as plain as that, when I figure this shit out, I'm going to help that little girl that looked like me. And that's that's why I come on here every day. I'm not, I'm no longer monetized anymore. If you notice on YouTube, y'all don't see no commercials over there. I done got off of the monetization and I want to collaborate and do free promotions with people to help other people get ahead because I feel like being monetized when you are known to be monetized by these platforms that they kind of like shush you like, right? So I'm trying something different here. Um, <laughs> I'm trying something to, you, they shush you unless you are on board to kind of like make sure the money is coming for their benefit, like kind of like TikTok shop and stuff. So I, I just want to be a regular account. And so that means it's going to take this inner being church to be my members and kind of like share my lives, tell people about me, tell people about us that we can grow. And as you tell people about me and send in things that you want me to promote, you get free promotion, you're getting healed. And it becomes really like a really good community, a tight knit community where I know the names, I know the Bakibas, I know the Keats, the Royals, you know, the Dion's of the world, the Tangela's of the world, the Miss Grateful's of the world, you know, Candy, Sage, I know the people. And I, I think that's the most rewarding thing because you could you could have you could have like five, and I really honestly don't care about that. You could have like five to ten solid good supporters, and it's like you have a whole freaking multitude. Like, right? I, I want people who who are on this like minded journey who real, you know. You know how to say real, recognize real. I want people who real in my corner, real and true to this call, really and true to evolving a lot in life. And um, wanting deeper connections spiritually in their life, really who are tired of being freaking sick and tired. Like, right? If you just come up and go, wait, hold up, what kind of oil? Like, you ain't ready. You ain't ready to really be real because you ain't been through enough. Go back out there, and get some Crisco oil. You gonna be all right because you on the Crisco oil frequency right now. Come back over here when you real, when you really want something real substantially to change the trajectory of your life and to edify your church, because this is about, about your soul expansion. OK, so if you want to donate to the church. Oh, let me say thankful. I mean, say thank you for the people that donated yesterday. And then we're going to wrap this here thing up. For those of you who need your wild yam butter, the link is in my bio. Sort of the earth pub dot org is back at the regular price. Thank you for the offer. And thank you so much. It's back at the regular price, and I feel so good that I was able to help. 
And so those of you who have not signed up for the newsletter, you need to be in the newsletter so you won't be missing out on exclusive deals like this here. And um, Dawn, Yamase, Candy, Frederick, Rita, Rita, Yamase again from the other day, Sue, I didn't even catch up on a minute. Uh, Keith, I got Rita again. I got Tanji up in here again. I got um, Jay in here. Raymond, thank you all for the donation. And I'm going to apply this here to the um, to the inner being wish list on Amazon so I can knock down some of the things so we could really get started up in here. Share the lives, y'all, with people. Let the people know that, you know, I, I bring value. You know, speak of me to other people. I would greatly appreciate it. And, and email me if you have anything that you want me to promote for you once I am standing up, whether it be, you know, a T-shirt, you know, dresses. I want it to be only like natural stuff, like like you, you kind of know me, you know of me at least. So I'm about health, wellness, you know, meditation, you know, water bottles, you know, um, uh, cushion mats, I said, you know, anything that has to do with something eco-friendly you know, good material, rich material. I don't want to, you know, be rejecting, returning, sending the stuff. So think about the things that you're sending in, like copper jewelry, you know, people into the, you know, earthy type things, trees, plants, you know, y'all know I like um, the birds or whatever, bird feeders and things like that. Send in those things. And when I'm standing up, when we, we do our inner being church, you know, and during announcement time and during the whole time, if it's like an outfit or something, I can be wearing that same said thing. And, and I can put your name in the comments on the YouTube channel. It'll be there, your handle. So have a handle, have a way to for the people to contact you because I'm going to have to give that information out. And so it'll be sitting there on my YouTube channel. And as my YouTube channel grow and these random people are visiting the channel, they'll see it there. As my TikToks grow, and I'll, I'll do, I'll make sure I have a TikTok of it. And as they're growing, you know, I put out like maybe um, four to five of these clips on these lives on my TikTok channel. And so I put out a TikTok where I mentioning you on my TikTok channels also. So I have three TikTok channels. I have Instagram. I have um, YouTube. And so I want to put you out there too. I'm talking about these beginner creators. Oh, thank you for the offerings. These beginner creators, I want to give back to people. And I'm saying this is free, F-R-E-E, -E, free, free. You heard that? Like they have um, platforms out here where I could jump on and do commission for, you know, things. They, they email me all the time for this, y'all, all the time. But I'm, I haven't done one yet. I could get paid for this here from other people. But I want to I want to help the people right here. I want to help y'all. Okay. That's what I want to do. Now, if you don't want the help, that's fine. But at the same time, the reason why I never did the commission ones is because I never found nothing that, like, I won't stand behind. You see? <laughs> you're A positive. Oh, okay. You're closest to, closest to being a vegan. Like, right? I want to find something that I'm going to stand behind. Like, I'm not going to get up there and, and tell y'all, hey, go go try this powder. This this. This such and such power. No, not, not with my name. Mm -mm. They got enough people that do that. Let them do that. You see, see the thing about, I want y'all to frolicking. That's the name, Candy, frolicking. Yes. The thing that I want you all to see here is that you finally have been graced with the presence of somebody that's really, really ain't about the money. It's about helping people on their journey. But when you sleep on that same said person, you miss out on your blessing. Now, you can sleep out on this here. But if you pay attention to how I run myself in my business, every time, I'm going to give it to you now in case you're a supporter or a subscriber. Every time I bring y'all on or put y'all on something, I always do an intro of it being inexpensive, it being cheap. Right? If Tangie and Frederick and some of my day ones, Miss Grateful, if y'all in here, if y'all paid attention, it's always cheap. Right? I give it to you cheap. And then I come back maybe two weeks. This is how I always bless people. And I always stay blessed. And then two weeks later, I tell them, hey, guys, they only have a couple of left. Now, since they only have a couple of left, um, make sure you get it. Because tomorrow the price is about to change. Anybody remember that from me before? Because I keep on doing it. <laughs> I always do this to help back. Anybody here remember that? I did that on the, the money, the manifestation of the money toolkit. I did, I did that on, on the uh, sustain. I did all, yes, I do. Kelvin says, yes, I do. I do it all the time. I did that on Be Radiant. 
They have people for Christmas getting five and six and seven B radians to give them out as little stock, stocking stuffers because it was so cheap. You think I'm crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm trying to bless people. I love to bless people. You sit there and you sit there and you're thinking about, they would go to your hormones not being a balance. You think, well, will she, why she want to do that for me? Well, no, huh? you, you want to create me in your simulated environment to do something chaotic to you because you're thinking about all that crazy stuff in your record room. Get you some wild yam butter, baby, and stop thinking crazy. When somebody here to bless you, <laughs> you get your blessing. Don't miss your blessing. Don't miss it because I'm retired, baby. I just love to do this. It's my passion. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. Gift cards. What about gift cards, Lynetta? Yeah, even to be be um be radiant, the gift cards. Yeah, you're right about that. The gift cards. I was giving away twenty five dollar gift cards, hundred dollar value for twenty five dollars. Some people were sleeping on it, but I wish I knew of me. <laughs> well, well, let me rephrase that. I wish. I don't wish that. Forget that. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Lynetta. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you for all of the offerings today. I don't wish I know me. I know me. I'm good enough. I used to say that. That's just something that I used to say. I don't want to say that no more. I know me, and I'm good enough. And I get all my blessings, everything that I want. And I'm connected with my inner being, and I'm happy with my life. I'm happy to be in this position to help other people. And I can't wait. I'm so excited to be able to stand up with my backboard and be in teacher mode. And even in student mode still, because I'm forever going to be a student as it pertains to me being connected to my inner being. But even as my inner being blesses me and takes me to a higher state of elevation, I want y'all to come. I want y'all to come. Now, if you don't want to come, you can stay your butt where you are. But I'm doing these promotions and different things for you to come. I tell you about the best stuff and I, I put the best ingredients in, in my stuff because I want you to be healed. I want you to be in good health even as your soul prospers. You hear me? Good health, even as your soul prospers. That means I want you physically sound and spiritually sound because that spiritual essence, I know that you could take that thing there with you in other realms and then my work is done. All right? All right, I'm going to quit wet rambling up in here. Make sure you get your wild yam butter available on my website. Make sure you get your hormones in balance so you don't be out here Wishing somebody would. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. Last one. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. God, source energy, infinite intelligence. I am thankful for every last person that came through my life, whether they stayed and left and are still here, regardless, they saw me, they heard me. And just by the sound of my voice, I speak blessings that will follow them all the days of their life. I speak sound mind. I speak perfect health. I speak soul edification, the church expanding within them for them to know God, for them to know truth. I speak a balancing of their hormones. I speak light in the midst of the darkness because he who the law has set free the law of attraction the law of assumption the laws that govern this land he who the law has set free is free indeed free them free their mind return and restore to them everything that the canker worm has tried to take away from them until they got to this state of place or being that they remember that they God we hold up Allow them to remember, wait, hold up. Allow them to remember every day. Let them begin to say, wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. I am God. Wait, hold up. Life happens through me. Wait, hold up. I remember. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. I am the I am. All right. Thank you, inner being. Somebody type I am. I am, 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 I am. And when you're typing this, you're saying you are who you say you are, who you are. I am, 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 I am. Not what men say you are, it's what you say you are. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. And now I want you to begin to say that what you are. Not what you used to be. I am. Powerful. 
You got a deal. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad I got a deal. All right. Y'all make sure you email me myself if you want to participate in the free promotions when I stand up so I can have everything collected for when I get this here on the way. Email me. My link is in my bio, my email address, salt of the earth pub.org. Salt of the earth pub. I'm sorry, that's my website. Salt of the earth pub at gmail.com. Song of the Earth Pub at gmail.com is the email address. This video was from my heart to yours. I am. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Y'all be blessed. See y'all later. I might come on later, depending upon how fast I get these orders out. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bitty.